hey, hey. Y'all know who it is. So we rip one outdoors. Yeah, I'll grab something and hang on. We're gonna go take a little ride. Hit that intro. All right, y'all. It's a lunchtime. Lunchtime break. We're gonna go out and take a little ride. I got my map my ride going. Doing that for uh, Southern E Biking, his uh, mileage challenge. I didn't get to ride this weekend, none. Uh, let me get past the dog over here. What about it, poop a -douche? Yeah, I wanted to go this weekend. Wanted to go down to Bay St. Louis, but wife and I went off down to Slide L, and I told her, I said, you know, there's one thing, there's one thing I like to do is I like to have a blue sunny day to make videos, and y'all, y'all know that most of my videos are. But sometimes beggars can't be choosers, especially when they're trying to get a video done. They need to get video out. So I rode down, I loaded I loaded up the deer. I was gonna take the deer for the first time and introduce it to Bay St. Louis. My wife and I looked on the radar and said, you know, there's nothing on the radar. So we ought to be good. And to tell you the truth, I, I didn't get far down the road they're going down towards Texas flat it started mist and rain and it missed it on me all the way all the way through Texas flat and when I got to Bay St. Louis it was sprinkling pretty hard them old boys there I guess they've come to know me I see them all the time but yeah it was raining pretty hard so I, I just turned around at Bay St. Louis. I, I sat there and I waited a while there under the bridge. And it just never, it just never did improve. No sunshine, cloudy, wind blowing. I said, it's just not a good day. So I turned around and come back. And that was Saturday. No stories today. But we are going to talk about something we're fixing to do. We're going to talk about this, this thing called ghost pedaling. When I first bought my, my first e-bike, which was the, the Magicycle Cruiser, still got it there in the shed there at the house. I started seeing people like Russ and people like that was talking about they changed out the they had changed out the chain ring to a 52 tooth chain ring to try to keep try to help not have so much of this ghost pedaling and the ghost pedaling is what we call the lack of resistance when you're pedaling. I'm riding along now at about 15.7 mile per hour. I like to ride faster than that. If I'm going to Walmart or if I'm going to Walgreens or to the bank or somewhere like that, I like to clip this thing on up about 19, 18 to 20 miles per hour. And whenever I do that, like I'll do it here, I basically don't have any resistance at all. I'm in pedal assist 5 and I'm in on my uh, shift Shimano shifter I'm in I'm in a 
gear seven. Now, I can push real hard and I can get a little bit of resistance there. And when I bump it up to sixth, I, I'm, I can, my feet can't keep up with it. So I'm therefore doing what we call ghost pedaling. And I'm going 21 now. And it's no, it's no use. I mean, I'm, I'm acting like I'm pedaling. But I'm not. I don't feel any resistance. Yeah, ghost pedaling. Some people say, you know, it's no problem for them. And right now, I'm just meandering along, okay? I'm in PAS 4 now. And I'm feeling a little bit of resistance. Well, if I drop it down into 3, I can feel good resistance. Okay? I mean, I'm, it, it says 0 watts on my watt meter there. So I'm pretty much doing all the pedaling here. But I'm only going 13 miles per hour. I don't know how to explain things. But y'all y'all get y'all that that ride these e-bikes, you know what I'm talking about. Especially the hub motor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back home and I'm going to put in, I'm going to take the back wheel off. Now we're going to do this deer, okay? We're going to take the back wheel off and we're going to put on an 1128 free wheel. That's right. Drift Maniac. The reason why I know it will work because I ordered one for the Magicycle Cruiser and I put it on this weekend and it works excellent. Now what the Magicycle Cruiser has, it's got a 42 tooth front chain ring and then it's got the same free wheel that the deer has which is a pretty much a standard and that's a 14 by 28 and I changed it out to an 11 by 28 and y'all I really loved the, what it's what it done to it did it take all the ghost pedaling out not really because when you get up around 22, 23, something like that, you still get a little, you know, only a little, little bit of light resistance. But when I'm riding about 19, 20 a mile per hour, I've got enough resistance in that pedal to say, hey, this is right. This is perfect for me. It makes me feel like that I'm actually applying myself to the pedal. So that's what I'm going to do. I changed it out on my Magicycle Cruiser. And I'm going to change it out on this Magicycle Deer. Because. Hey, us Mitchell boys, we like to mod things. We like to make it work for us. And that's, that's what I'm going to do to make it work for me. I mean, if I'm ghost pedaling at 18 to 20 miles per hour, which is my preferred speed, then I just well be using the throttle, and I don't I don't use the throttle. So there you go. So we're gonna ease on back to the house. And we're going to cut vid cut this video off and we're going to take back over in the shed and we're going to change this freewheel out. So y'all, we're back here at the house now. And first thing I got to do is I got to take my 
Rock Brothers bag off of here. It shouldn't be no problem. Really like this bag. It's a hundred bucks, but hey, it's according to how bad you want a good bag. Set that over there. And everything back this way is good. The seat's good where it's at. I'm gonna take my Paseco foam mount off. Then I'm gonna take my rear camera off because I don't wanna be rolling around and break nothing up here. We're gonna use what we call our Cooter Ridge bike stand. Okay. I'm gonna let the kick stand up. And we're gonna lay this bike down on its side. Lay it down on its, well, we're gonna flip it over. That's what the ultimate goal is. We're gonna lay it over. Pick it up by the forks and I'm gonna lay the handlebars on some of these packing foams that you get when you buy your bike the back back here I got a separate little piece of foam and there we go now we're ready to address the wheel we're ready to take the wheel off okay y'all the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna <clears throat> we're going to trace these wires out right here this wire right here is your main wire that runs that feeds the power to your hub motor and we're going to find the appropriate zip ties that go as far as holding that wire in place and we're going to clip those zip ties there's the one that i put there wire runs down to my rear view camera so we're gonna take that all loose cut those and get those out the way then we're gonna reach in here we're gonna unplug this motor just wiggle a little bit and pull it apart just like that and that's done i have an 18 millimeter end wrench i'm going to put it on this the main nut that holds this wheel on right here and i'm going to break these loose pop it a little bit should come right loose same way on the opposite side when i take these parts off i'm going to take these parts off just in the order that they came that they're to be put back on and I've got me a place laid on a chair here that tells me that's right side or left side or whatever the side nearest to the camera then we got to take a three a four millimeter hex key And we've got to take these little plates off right here. Both sides. Two screws. This side, two screws on the other side. Magic Cycle Cruiser only had one screw. Set those to the side. Pull a plate off. It'll only go, it'll only go one way. But we're going to put it on over here just so we'll know exactly how it goes back in. We're going to do the same on the other side here. Okay, I'm going to take, bend my derailleur out of the way like this. Everything looks good and broke free on the other side over here. So that wheel should come straight up just like that. Or that and that y'all is how it's done we got the wheel off that's I mean that that, that took what 
10 minutes, y'all saw that in real time. I mean, uh, 10 minutes and uh, two or three little tools. That's it. Now, we're gonna take this, uh, this free wheel off. Okay, y'all. Got the wheel, I just, look, you don't have to have no special holder or anything. I got it leaned up against a chair here. This is what you need to take that free wheel off. I bought this one. This is a knockoff brand. I should have bought the part tool FP1. That's what that is. That's a part tool uh, FP1 free wheel removal tool. I should have bought the part tool, but I bought something cheaper. And when I got it here, it wouldn't go over this big boat right here. I had to drill it and, and then uh, uh, dremel that out to get it to where it would go over that boat. So that slips down in there. If you've got a deep well 15 16 socket, you can take that off. I don't happen to have a deep well 15 16 home handy, so I'm gonna use my daddy's old adjustable wrench here. It's got paint all over it. He used it for years on the job sites. And then break it loose. And we're going to pull that free wheel off of there. We're going to have this thing changed out before I have to go back to work on my lunch break here now. There you go. Shimano 1428. And we're going to install this Drift Maniac 11 by 28. Y'all, I'm going to put a link in the description for this new 1128 free wheel here. I couldn't find a Shimano, but this is a this is built for a Shimano. So, I'll put that link in there. It's made by Drift Maniac. And it's found on Amazon, and it will be an Amazon, one of my affiliate links. So, I'll put that in the description. Uh, here... I'm going to show y'all some comparison numbers right here, okay? This would be the old teeth number and the new teeth number. So you got on the old 28, on the new 28. On the old 24, on the new 24. The old 22, that would be the third gear. New 20, new third gear on is 21. The old fourth gear is 20. The new fourth gear is 18. The new, the old fifth gear is 18. The new fifth gear is 15. The old sixth gear is 16. The new sixth gear is 13 teeth. The old seventh gear is 14. The new seventh gear is 11. So there you have your there there you have your comparisons and you know I mean you can you can see the difference there. Let's put our Drift Maniac 1128 or 2811. And I'm just checking there's no spacers or anything that's in the way here. Everything should go back the same. And if my calculations is correct, which they were on the uh, Magicycle Cruiser. I don't know why I'm looking over there like it's over there because it's sitting outside. But we shouldn't even have to uh, adjust the derailleur. Derailleur, uh, however you say that. I'm not going to tighten this thing. I'm just going to just snug it up. That's all. Okay, <clears throat> y'all, trying to get y'all where y'all can see. Get the wheel spun back around. I've got some little slots here. These little notch pieces here, they're going to go right back down in the slots that they came out of. Okay. We've got to make sure that we put our brake. Uh, 
our brake rotor back in the caliber we got it's 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 it just takes some fine tuning there to get everything lined up to go back in place but we shouldn't have any problem here let's do it <clears throat> get the and there we go beautiful perfect yes that's that's perfect y'all I noticed a while ago when I was pulling with my kickstand, it was loose also. So I'm going to take this opportunity to, to tighten that. Why is it them kickstands come loose so many, many times and all? I'm going to put some deep, uh, I'm going to put some blue Loctite on it. There you go. That's done. Let's spin the wheel. That's good. Okay. Let's bring y'all back around. Y'all know what else we got to do? We got to hook our wire back up. Line up the arrows. Perfect. Yep. And I'll get some zip ties and replace these zip ties that we cut loose, y'all. And this thing will be ready to test. Put a couple of zip ties in here. Having to hold this paper towel in my hand because my finger got to bleeding. Y'all ever seen one of these little do tools here? Little do lollies? If you hadn't got one you ought to get you one that's what you put them zip ties on there with uh, lift it back up i think we're gonna lean it over this way i'm gonna grab it by the fork and i'm gonna grab it by the seat and there we go we'll pop the kickstand back down there she goes hey next time we'll see y'all we'll be out on the road we're gonna take a test ride on it okay y'all let's go take a little test ride see how it works out and we changed the we changed the freewheel out y'all from a 2814 we changed it to a 2811 and i can tell you right now because I'm, I've got a lot of resistance. I'm in seventh gear, and I've got a lot of resistance here. Let's go see how it's gonna do. Put it on up in a pedal assist three. Four. We're not gonna go far and bore y'all with another long ride. Everything feels good about the, I mean, I don't, I don't hear nothing about the chain. I mean, I didn't have to change anything. Didn't have to adjust the derailleur. I check my shifter. Yeah, oh yeah, it's shifting good. That's six. That's five. And that's four. Oh yeah. Everything's good.
truckload beside. All right, let's get it on up to speed here now. Y'all remember, we was on it earlier. We said we could only do about 16, 17 mile per hour before it started wanting to ghost pedal. Not much resistance. So let's see how it's gonna do now. I'm already doing eight. I'm in pedal assist five and I've got plenty of resistance. So that's 18.6. Let's go up to six. Oh yes. That's 20 and a half. That's 21. And I've got plenty of resistance. Now this now this is my kind of riding here. I don't like to ghost pedaling. I've gone as far as I need to go to see what I want to see. So I'm going to just turn around and head it on back. So job well done and y'all we'll uh we'll sign off with y'all i tell you what hey check that mag check that magic cycle link in the description if you want to buy one of those magic cycle bikes i'd appreciate it if you use that my channel will get recognition for it Hit that like and that subscribe. Been getting plenty of subscriptions here lately, y'all. I appreciate that. I tell you what I'm gonna do as a little bonus. I'm gonna take my quadcopter. I'm gonna fly up in that oak right there, and I'm gonna just leave y'all. I'm gonna leave y'all with a little parting video right there. Show y'all how pretty that that tree is right there. Okay. And you guys in the north, y'all hang on. It's coming. It's coming. But uh, we appreciate y'all watching. And hey, it's Rip One Outdoors. We'll catch y'all on the flip-flop. Mm -hmm.